what's so great about a small film festival is that you are actually mixing with the audience and you're absolutely part of uh, something that's very community focused. I think what's also lovely is that it's in a unique environment. Here you are at a film festival, but your experience is you're in the outback of Australia, and in this particular case, the heart of Queensland. So for me, that experience heightens the idea of being at a film festival, and it makes it a unique experience for people who are coming to see your films. It's been an absolutely fantastic experience. I've loved the history and the culture of visiting uh, the different different buildings around town. I love how the facades are kept intact for such a long period of time. You know, there's such a rich history here with the film that we saw last night at the opening. And you know, just sitting in this room here today uh, where the first Waltzing Matilda rendition was actually sung, I believe, and over there in that room. But the people here have been so supportive and so welcoming that uh, I'd come back in a heartbeat. Oh, it's such a cute little town. I love it. Like, I'm surprised that I didn't know more about it or it wasn't on my radar before um, being with the foundation. So it's a lovely, lovely place and I definitely recommend it to anyone who hasn't or is considering coming. Yeah, it's a wonderful town. Went in a word. Yeah. Well, this week it's dairy free. Intriguing. Big open skies. Vibrant. Amazing. A big part of this trip and one of my parts I'm passionate about is that students get to meet other students. Some of them have got the same background as them. We often bring in a lot of international students in with different perspectives. We bring students from different disciplines. They get to understand how they work. So actors will get to work with film students, understand how um, film, the films work that they might act in, but also how film students can learn from the actors. We do it with composers. They also get to work closely with the community and understand that you know the community got stories they want to tell and they might not have had any experience in the outback before. A lot of them have no experience with indigenous communities and we work closely with Kawahi, they executive produce all the films. Uh, and the key goal of those collaborations is they learn to work with people uh, under high pressure that they've never worked with before. Often at film school, you work with the same cohort often right the way through, but then you get to industry and you're working with different people all the time. So getting out here and having to work with people you've never met before under high pressure and get a film on the screen kind of pretty much instantly uh, develops a different side of your personality, develops different skills. You realise what you bring to the table as a creative. Uh, you learn different ideas from different people um, and you learn your voice. And I think having your own voice and seeing what you contribute as an individual creative is, is primary in this experience. This year's been another great year. We didn't think we could top what we did last year, but we have. So the numbers have been up, which is brilliant. It's been absolutely fantastic for all involved. The town has been buzzing. You know, they ran out of milk and bread this week, so it's just been absolutely incredible. So we love it. The town of Winton, I think it holds a special place in my heart. <laughs> um, the, the people are all so friendly and really get a lot of having the students here telling stories, getting to know people. So it's really special that we're able to come here and you know help their economy and their businesses and make connections out here. As has become our annual tradition that we uh, unveil a new star every year as part of the festival. The star of the Winton Walk of Fame is based on people who have had a large impact on Australian cinema. Um, and I guess based on last night's film, there's no more fitting in the year of Indigenous tourism as well that uh, we this year induct David Gopalil as the next inductee into the Winton Walk of Fame. Michael is here to accept that on his behalf.
G'day, I'm John Jarrett. I'm up here in Winton for the Vision Splendid Outback Film Festival. Why? Because I love Australian movies, I love Australians, and I love Central Queensland. I'm here to support it, and they played my movie Savages Crossing at the Outdoor Royal Theatre, which is a brilliant, brilliant piece of work, and uh, I recommend you get up here next year and have a look at it. Um, I'm very, very happy to be here, and hopefully we'll see you next year.